This question follows the complete combustion of a gaseous hydrocarbon and uses gas volumes to identify the formula of hydrocarbon X. So we've been told that we've got 40 centimetres cubed of our hydrocarbon and that this requires 240 centimetres cubed of oxygen and produces 160 centimetres cubed of carbon dioxide. We've also been told that all of these gas volumes are at room temperature and pressure. And what we know is that when we've got our gas volumes at room temperature and pressure, the volume ratio is going to be equal to the mole ratio in the equation. So let's write out a general combustion equation so that we can identify our mole ratios and hence work out the formula of X. We've got our hydrocarbon X reacting with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. So now let's start to look at some of these mole ratios to identify the ratios within the equation. We've been told that we've got 40 centimetres cubed of hydrocarbon X and therefore the ratio of X to our carbon dioxide, we've got 40 to 160 and this goes down to a 1 to 4 ratio. Therefore we've got 4 moles of carbon dioxide and this means that as we've got 4 carbons from that carbon dioxide our hydrocarbon X will also have to have four carbons. Therefore, we can eliminate options C and D, and our answer will have to be either A or B. So let's have a look at some more ratios to figure out the rest of the formula. So now, let's have a look at the ratio of the hydrocarbon to oxygen. So again, we've got 40 centimetres cubed of our hydrocarbon, and this requires 240 centimetres cubed of our oxygen. And this ratio goes down to a one to six ratio. So now we can put a big six in front of our oxygen. And this must mean, so overall we'll have 12 oxygen atoms on the left-hand side. We've then got eight oxygen atoms from that carbon dioxide on the right-hand side. Therefore, 12 minus eight must mean that we have four oxygen atoms from that water due to the conservation of mass. Therefore, we can put a big four in front of our water meaning that we have eight hydrogen atoms from that water. Therefore, because the only source of hydrogen on the left-hand side is our hydrocarbon, that must mean that our hydrocarbon has to contain eight hydrogens. Hence, our answer is option A, C4H8.